Hello, good evening, and welcome back to Slay the Spire, Amodia Piranus. We are overpowered once again here. That's what it takes to get to uh, the beyond here, cha the chapter three, uh, level three, whatever it's called here. We've been we've been blessed with some serious stuff here. First of all, we had the ice cream. Energy is conserved between turns. This is such a small tweak, but honestly, it completely changes the way you can play a character now. Um, I love it. It's a great item. We also have this. This is our insurance policy. If we die, we heal back to 50% of our max HP. So we get one life bonus, basically. Uh, gambling chip lets us discard cards at the beginning of our turn and then redraw that many, which is fantastically overpowered as well. Uh, we have the shuriken, which increased attack. When we have three attacks in a single turn, we have a lot of zero attack cards in our hands. So this is going to happen frequently in long battles. And then we have some awesome, awesome cards. Uh, let's let's let's, let's look at the quick highlights here. We got bullet time last time. We have Invenom. We have Viscerate. We have most notably Phantasmal Killer and Burst Plus already upgraded. These are the game changers right here. Burst especially. Phantasmal Killer is is definitely a dominant card here. Well laid plans. Let's just like just get anything we want, anytime we want and save it for the right moment. It, it's it's great. We have a couple of curses, which are no big deal. Three curses right now, no big deal. Uh, we're losing the one HP from this one. And we got relics on the way. So let's 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 get into it here. Now, I, I, what I need to do is not push my luck. We have to plan our course of attack here carefully. We need to make sure we have a rest before an elite and after an elite. We need to make sure we have... So here's a rest here. Then we go this way, there's a merchant, and then a, we have a lot of money, so we should probably hit a merchant here, and then an elite. This way, rest. This is not a bad path here, especially considering I'm pretty happy with our deck right now. I don't really need to make a whole lot of improvements to it. A, uh, a good merchant stop could just add a little bit of a kicker. I think we're going to go with this route here. Those question marks are questionable, but uh, this won't be too bad, I think. So we can choose what we want to get rid of. We'll get rid of this. Uh, we don't need this right now. Let's see. These guys are going to do buffs and it's not attacks. We're going to do that. We're going to get this dexterity on there right away, though, so we have it. Uh, we might play this this turn, and this will be all four uh, uh, plays if we do those three. Um, let's confirm and see what we get. All right, so that's just a no-brainer. Zero cost on that one. Uh, I forget what these guys do. I think these guys might buff their explosiveness. Which means killing them faster is better, even if they do 8 damage. Having it be able to block that is better. This guy's going to do negative effects. If we can get him dead, that'd be fantastic. I don't think we can, though. 8 damage and 15 would be 20, 23 damage. Not quite enough. Uh, we don't really have anything that we can do anything with here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play... Get the dexterity out there. I'm going to play the 15 damage on him. I'm going to save the draw for next turn because the, the damage is going to be better. We can save this for next turn too even. Um, and yeah, let's end the turn here. We'll retain... Let's retain nothing. Let's go with that. So these guys, I believe, buff their explosiveness. Yes, 12 points of damage, 12 points of damage. Pretty huge, actually. And they get me some dazed cards in my deck. That's fine. All right. So, we have Burst. Uh, this will reduce all costs to zero this turn. And we have enough money. We have enough to play it. It's cost of all cards to zero. Uh, that ain't going to be bad. Let's see, we have zero. Okay, so here's what we could do. We play through. Is it play Bolt Time? And the only question I have is if we need any cards right now. There's no draws in our hand. All right, so let's do bullet time. Let's do welly plans. Let's do Invenom. Let's do burst. Do we have a skill to play? No, we don't actually. So burst doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll do this. I should have played it before. I feel like I should have played burst before I did the other one. That's all right though. Uh, oh, we can't. Oh, the shivs didn't do anything. We should have the shivs first. Oh well. I didn't. I didn't know if the shivs would count as a draw or not. Uh, that's okay. We'll do five damage and three poison onto him. 
and we get no blocking here, unfortunately. We're gonna take 18 damage. I'm gonna drink this right away here. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And this does not really help us at all. We're gonna keep this for next turn though, for sure. And we should have six energy for next turn then. And this guy's nearly dead. All right, so there's our 18 damage. We're not gonna get that much healing back. Okay, he keeps doing dazed. That's not that bad. There's our shiv. Oh, the shiv was at the beginning of each turn. Okay, that's why we didn't get a shiv. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So, um, we gotta be careful with the regret in our hand because it is a uh, one damage per card in our hand. And we can't, we can't actually discard if we do this one. I don't want to draw that many cards, though. Okay. Let's do Phantasmal Killer. We'll save this for next turn. Assuming that we can make that make sense. We need to be able to block enough here. And we can't on its own. All right, he's doing 11. He's going to be dead if we do a little bit of attack to him. Let's see. He's dead now. He's dead. Yep. Okay. So there's that. Don't worry about him. We have nine damage to contend with here. If we get the weaken on him, we'll do like more like seven damage then. And poison three on him would be good. Okay. Six damage. Okay. It's better. Uh, Phantasmal killer. Sure. Attacks all enemies. Okay. Look, killed, killed one. We can do t we can do uh, 20 damage with this. Doesn't really help us here. And plus, if we kill him, he's gonna do a lot of damage to us. Uh, I'm gonna retain these two. Let's uh, play the two strikes. Add some more poison on this dude. All right, and we're still gonna take six, but not as bad as it could be. Save the skewer and save the uh, burst. All right. Explosive is 16 now for that guy. Man, we're going to take some serious damage here. We need to make sure we block enough when we uh, decide to kill those guys. So, 26 damage. We need to, be able to block 12. Uh, okay, let's do burst. Let's do defend. That looks to 16. And we do choke on you. We'll play this on you we'll do five to him we'll play this we'll discard you and we'll discard oh yeah i'll discard you for now i don't know what let's see here quick i have zero energy left i can't play anything else with the shiv so we'll discard this one all right, that kills him. We took the 19 damage. I want to be careful not to kill him just yet because we need to be able to block that 12. So let's save the let's save the shiv. I don't need to save a shiv. We can save because we're gonna get another one here. We can save the uh, skewer for next turn. Actually, we don't even save anything. I want to give block cards in our hand, so I'm gonna I'm gonna discard everything. Yep, discard everything because we don't need to do much damage to him. We just need to be able to block that 12. 16 now. Not not bad at all though. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we have this block here, which is good. We have this block here, which is good. That's 19 block. Discard this. And we've got him. We blocked it all. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Just had to think a couple seconds extra, extra on that one. Okay. Underhanded strike. Random enemy damage. Not as good as some of these other ones would be. Riddle with holes would be amazing, actually. Yeah, I'm liking that one, actually. Let's take that. All right, moving on up the road here. Let's see. If we go... Yeah, I can't really go this direction because we're getting two elites back-to-back. -back. That could be ruinous for us. So we got to go up this way. We're going to skip this merchant. One of these question marks could be a merchant, though, which would be perfect timing if we can get one. Oh, boy. Okay, lifelink for these guys. This is a toughie. This is a toughie. Let's see what we want to keep. I don't want to keep the U. We're going to get rid of you for now. I think. 
Uh, I want to keep you. Let's see. Are they attacking at all? He's defending. He's attacking with eight. So we're going to keep those two here. I'm going to get rid of the strikes. I'm going to get rid of the strikes and hopefully it gets something better. I'm going to get rid of the poison stab here too. And hopefully it gets something better. I'm going to keep the defense so we can block whatever damage they're dealing. It's too many defense now. Get that out there. Uh, get this out there. All right, that's enough block then. So we have two energy left. We could play this one and do uh, 20 damage to somebody. Or we can do this and get some infinite plays out there. Uh, let's take, let's take, let's do the damage and save those shift for next turn. Uh, we just gotta pick a victim. Let's go after you, they're the strongest one here. All right, and then we'll save you for next turn. They're gonna defend this turn. Adding on some block for next time. He's got eight damage, which we fully blocked. All right, not too bad. Okay, now we have a lot of damage to get through and we have nothing to really do about it. Okay. Course of action. We're taking 24 damage right now. I can't really do anything about it. This will be eight damage and draw a card. I think that's a wise choice. I'm going to deal to him because Blur is good. At least it blocks some of this attack. Alright. We have two attack or two energy left. I'd like to play these two. This is good long term. I could I could play this and hang on to these for next turn. We can only hold on to one next for next turn. Well, let's do this. Let's save this for next turn. Because we're not doing any more damage this round. And that gets some attacks out there. So we're still going to take 16 damage, though. Not super happy about that, but... End it. Save this. Go. Got to get rid of the, uh, the shivs there. That's okay, though. All right. Not great, but... We're doing double damage this turn, which is awesome. Cool. And bullet time on top of that. Well, let's see about doing all of our draws right now. Get rid of you. All right. So bullet time for sure. And then we can kill one of these guys. First of all, get that out there. Then who do we want to kill? Uh, we do 24 damage to somebody. We can stop one of these attacks from happening. Probably the best way of doing it. Uh, all right, so let's see. We can do 24 to you and 12. And then start working down on this guy. Now, he's going to restore back. These guys restore back if we don't kill them all at once. And he's going to take another turn or two to do that. But um, let's work down you then. He's probably going to attack next turn, so I'm going to go after him a little bit. All right, got some poison on him. Uh, do we want to throw the poison out there? I don't know. Might be a little early in the round here. Okay, we still have four energy for next turn. Potentially, we could get some decent cards and kill him. He's regrowing. He'll be coming back next turn then. All right, so we need eight block. We have that. Let's do acrobatics first, though. And we'll get rid of this defend here. All right, so burst we can use to get this skill applied twice to somebody. So let's do burst. Do crippling blow to him. Add on a bunch of uh, poison to this guy. Get that out there. So we have three keepers at the end. Um... Get the block out there, I guess. And then we'll get this uh, out there as well. All right. That is as good as we can hope for. He's probably going to come back. That's right. We got our strength up here, too. All right. <clears throat> now he's going to attack this turn. He's back to 24. Okay, so half health is what they come back with. All right. Not a bad. Uh, I might hang on to this until we, until, uh, we get a double skill with that one. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade this one, it looks like. I wish we could upgrade that to a little bit more health. 
Still better than nothing. I'll still take it. All right, you got uh, one week coming his way, which is good. Lowers his attack down to 12. We have 11 block here. Uh, let's see. Eviscerate we could play. Nine damage times three would kill. It's 27. Could kill him with that. Move most of our energy though. And we haven't put any block on yet, so I can't do that quite yet. Okay, so we have to discard something then. If I discard Predator, that'll take the cost of this down to three. We won't get the extra cards next turn though. I'm gonna get rid of his viscerate, I think. Well. Let's get rid of Predator. I think Viscerate was worthwhile. We can actually kill something with it right now. We can kill him with it. We're not going to block all that damage. Yeah, not enough to kill him. We can kill him, but he's not attacking, unfortunately. He's at armor on, so we can't kill him. Um, Let's see. If we put poison on him... We get six poison on him. That'll take him down to 20 Lex turn to 28. So we still can't do it with this card. We put it on him. We can block some damage. Actually, if we get him down. Yeah, well, this will kill him. This poison is going to fall. Oh, I forgot about that too. It counts for poison for each one of those. All right. And we'll end the turn. Keep that. We'll block some of the damage here. He's, he's dead. He won't attack us. Confirm. All right. Not too bad. We'll take some damage. One damage. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, I've just got to remember to kill these guys. We're close on these guys. Oh, 12 block though? Come on. That's some strong, that's some strong block. Five damage, five times, 25 points of damage. That'll put on five poison on this guy as well. Then we just got to worry about this gentleman. Actually, if we, well, it only works on unblocked damage though, doesn't it? Okay, let's definitely play burst and do the healing now. That works for me. So we heal back eight there. That's good. Uh, let's do this. Discard this one. Play it again. And we'll discard the strike. All right. So now we have six damage and three poison. Five energy to work with. We don't have any blocks, so killing him would be would be advantageous if we can. Let's see. Six damage would take him down to one. This will do 25, so we got him there. Plus the three poison. Okay, two down. This guy's regrowing. It's all right. Next turn, we'll get extras. All right, these guys are going to come back. One of them is going to come back for sure. We're close on this, though. All right. Eight times two. 16 damage to worry about. We do have 16 block in our hand already. And we have eight energy, so let's block that block that damage. Do that damage there, and we gotta get that out there. Next turn, we've get we we can get them all maybe. And we'll see, save that block for next turn too. That's huge actually, because he's gonna do twelve right now. We don't have to worry about blocking so much next turn. We'll see what happens. I don't want to keep that. All right, I think we got a good chance here. This is gonna be a long episode, I can tell you, because these these all each one of these battles is gonna be super well thought out. Uh, to the extreme degree that we're only taking the damage we absolutely have to. No mistakes. Careful planning, hopefully. Within reason. As careful as I get. Which isn't very, but... Okay, so 14 will take care of him. Uh, Skewer will take care of... Let's do the draw here now. We need to be able to discard something now. I'm not going to discard the infinite blades because it's not going to... We're actually going to... We're going to make this our final stand here. So we have six damage to work with. We have one, two, three. We need to be able to kill him. Yeah, so maybe we kill, use this card on him. Well, we got to start working on this guy. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. And let's work on him. And done. Cool. All right, there we go. Managed it properly. Healed back a little bit even. Oh, leg sweep's cool. 
Skills are played twice when we have the right thing here. Deflect as a skill would be kind of cool, but it doesn't really take advantage, full advantage of the, uh, the card. Not that it comes up that often. Or I don't do anything. Hmm. I have a lot of cards already. A lot of cards are ready. All right, I'm not going to take anything. Yep, we're going we're gonna to skip. We're going to be prudent here. Skip those cards. Not going to help us that much. And uh, possibly could make our deck weaker by adding those in. Transform a card. All right, let's transform one of these strike cards. Yeah, because I need the blocks more often, actually. I think uh, our, our, we have a very skill-based deck. And we might get it a skill with this still. So let's try it. And we got... Hey, that's a good one. Riddle with holes. Not upgraded, but still good. Still good. Come on, merchant. Yes! Oh, that's a good find. Fantastic. Okay. Peace pipe is cool. Let's just remove a card of campfires. Not that we're going to have much opportunity at this point to take advantage of that. Whenever you use a potion, get heal 3 HP. Ooh. All right. Bandage up. Yeah. I might consider that. We need healing. I'm going to do that. All right. Draw a card if it's skilled, gain three block. Escape plan's not a bad one. It's cheap. Well, since we have the cash, which one's going to help us more? Whenever we use a potion, a max of nine, then, if we use all three in a, in a, in a battle. We have nothing that's specifically gaining us extra potions on. We can't do both. More max HP. What are the odds we get back to max HP? Even resting. Even resting at each campfire, for the most part. What are the odds? Let's say healing back like that's going to be better. Yeah, sorry. No free funds. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save our cash because there will be another merchant coming up here. I could remove a shiv or something weak from our... Or not shiv. A, a strike from our hand or something like that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as is. Sadistic nature would have been nice too, possibly. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take three extra damage. And we have cards that do that. I mean, these this 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 leg sweep would be more valuable then. Um, this stuff too, I think it still counts. So this will be ten damage and it's one week. So that is kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm tempted by it. Grossed up by the drinking the black blood, but tempted by this. It's another card to play, but it's cheap. Let's leave. Let's leave. As I said, we're gonna see another merchant here. Not this direction. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go up through the middle here. So we'll see a merchant again pretty quickly here. All right, next battle. All right, so attack him last, I think. Use poisons and that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. He's attacking for 11, so we need to have that much in our hand. 5 and 5 will be enough there. Let's discard that for now. Let's play both of these right away. Actually, we could play them better off next time. We're going to cycle through our deck this turn. Yeah, probably. Let's see. Let's let's save these for later. Uh, when we possibly can play the skill with them to double them up get 16 health back if we can so we need this we need this we need this we, we can play that no no problem no risk there uh confirm all right well laid plants is good draw and discard okay so we have uh let's see we have a 10 block plus another five we have, we have to manage every single piece of health right now so let's see we have four to play these, probably, these guys probably aren't going to get played this turn. Uh, let's discard one of these then. I'll get rid of you. Alright, so let's get some blocking out there. Oop, I should have played this first. Should have played that first, then we need to worry about the blur. Shoot. Alright. Actually, but not removing the block will be fine. That's the fine. That's a fine mistake to make. And we got the five damage there. Little bonus. And it doesn't do any thorns damage. We could actually wear him down just with that. Okay, yep. Yeah. I like it. I like that we have enough cards now that we can play skills only and still do damage with them. 
We could just block and do, still do damage, which is amazing. So Thorns is a five on that guy. So using the using the skills to to wear this guy down would be good too. Uh, yeah, maybe this. Let's get that out there. We have ten to block. So block eight. That's the best we can hope for right now. I think Invenom would be good long term, and then we'll save these two for later. Play this on him. And end it. We can save three cards back now, so let's keep these two. All right. All right, he took his little poison damage, and he's going to hit for a lot, but not much. We're frail now, though. Okay, now he's in for 20. Uh, do we have anything that draws any cards here? I don't. Can we do enough poison to damage this guy to kill him? Okay, so what I would do here, I, was, I would play burst and then bullet time. All right. So now our next skill is going to... So now we have two turns of bullet time, I think, is the deal. Uh, let's apply the thing, the poison to him. Oh, he doesn't have that. He has that block on there. That's right. Got the weaken on it, which is 15 now. So it's less damage than we were getting before. Uh, play that out there. We have no... We can't do anything with that. Let's put the poison on him. Let's do six. Go back a little bit. Twelve. We don't have anything that can do unblock damage, though. All right, let's get Predator on that guy. Kill him. Let's get... Uh, I guess we'll just play the strike. It doesn't really matter. And if, if I played two... I can play Skewer now and get that energy back. Again, we're not going to want to attack the guy, this guy with this because he'll do us a lot of lot of uh, thorn damage now. So I'm going to do that, get our strength up. I don't know if it's going to matter, but we'll try it. All right, we're taking 15 here now. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Didn't make any block cards, though. Couldn't do anything about it. Next turn, we've got him, though, so that's good. All right. So, still wondering how to deal with this guy. We need to do a lot of blocking. This guy's dead. Let's get out maneuver on there for the next turn here. So, not the cards I need. Uh, okay, here's what we can do though. If we play this, we'll take nine damage from him. Let's take the block. If we play this on him, we'll take nine damage. He'll take 26 though. And he'll get some poison damage. We can play neutralize and on him. And that will also damage him. And that'll be all of the energy we have for this turn though. So we take nine damage back. We need to be able to kill him, otherwise we're going to take a lot more, though. Will I be able to kill him? 26. If I play Neutralize on him, that takes me down to 5 points. I still can't get him, because we don't have enough cards to play. So I should hold off on that. Take the take the full, almost full block there. He's dead, don't have to worry about him. And I'm not going to take any damage. Alright. Let's end turn. Let's save choke for next turn because this could prove be pretty useful. Um, and that's all I really want to save. Okay, all right. We, I think we play that smart, smart as we could. We need to be able to do enough damage to him to beat him. If we keep all these cards, we're going to have a big problem. If I play Choke, there's 13 damage to him. We're still going to take that 9. i got nothing I can play here safely. He's going to buff, raising up his thorns probably. I'm going to let him do it. Because we're going to play we're gonna play this pretty smart. Yeah. 
I'm going to play this pretty smart. Okay, let's hold off on playing anything this turn. We're going to take a bunch of damage there. But I didn't want to keep any of that stuff. We're going to take the, the damage from the, the, the curse there. I couldn't have discarded it, unfortunately. All right, so this isn't going to work because it's going to do five times 11 now, which is going to kill us. Uh, Let's do this. Let's discard you. Get that out there. Now we can do... Well, okay, here's, here's what we can do. We can play something that'll do some damage to him. And wear him down a little bit. Because as long as we have the block on there, this 11 won't matter. Uh, let's get rid of you, because I can't play that safely at all. Yeah, let's do 5 damage, okay. Because we played the, the skills. Let's do this, get infinite blades out there. Let's take the 4 damage, he'll do 11 to us, but we'll block all of it. It's weakened for this turn, doesn't really matter. Alright, here we go. Ending it, and we're not going to hang on to that, because I really can't play it anymore. He's going to buff this further now. Takes his poison. 13 thorns now. There's this five attack. We just got to play it safe. If I do, if I do all block here, I actually will do five damage to him right now. Safely do five damage, and this will not remove till next turn. And uh, I'm not going to play this again because if we do, well, we might get to a point where we can actually play this and not take much damage. He's doing 13. We have 24. I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to hang on to it. Like I said, all these battles are going to take a lot longer. We're already through halfway through the area here. I might have to take this into a two-parter. We'll have to see. Because we're already very deep in the episode. And uh, not made it very far. Okay. So we got the heal back. Good. Uh, let's see. He's doing 13. We block some of it. Let's heal back a little bit. So if we do 16 damage to him right now, we'll take 13. We'll block all of it. Put some poison on him. For a turn at least. And that will have to do it for this. Okay. So now we just need to count on a poison card coming up. We do have a poison card in our hand coming up here soon. The... There's a skill. Let's see what skill we can play that might save us here. We'll see. Let's count on skill saving us. Because if we do if we do three skills in a turn, we've got him. Let's count on it happening. Let's, let's redraw everything. Three skills is all we need to victory. Three skills to victory. Long battle. All right. Uh, we didn't get... Is that a exhaust? Oh, we just didn't get it first. Yeah. I might be able to draw it. Uh, nope. No chance to draw it. Okay. So, we have three skills to play? We do. Yep. Absolutely. Cool. Not too bad. Heal back a little bit. Adding a card. Calculated gamble's not bad. This this is this is uh so they made a change to this card. I don't know if we've seen the change yet. I wonder if this goes for two turns if we play it twice. Or if it, or if it does twelve. You know, I'd rather it didn't do twelve. I don't really want to play this one twice ever. Oh boy, what do I play? Um, let's try this. I always like that one. Campfire coming up. That's good. We can do a question mark and then a campfire. I think we should play it safe because that could be an enemy. Let's rest. We're in really good shape here though. All right. So as I said, this might be a good spot to break off this episode. Um, let's uh, let's continue on then. 
And uh, yeah, this episode's running long because we've got so much to think about for each of these battles. But I'll be back for another one. And later, later on. Later on, probably in the next day. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night.